Hey guys, uh, this is gonna be a two-part video. I just got out of the shower, so I'm like, Bleh. haven't put on any makeup yet. Two-part video, part one is going to be putting on contacts, which is why I have no makeup on. Part two is going to be step-by-step -step how I use a brush to do my eyebrows and as eyeliner, because I've been asked to do this, and in my other video, I just kind of sped it up and did it, but this time I will, you know, close up, kind of show you guys. Um, I'm hoping that the light is okay because the light in here is not too great, but I do have a brighter bulb, so fingers crossed this will be all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with these contacts here, normal contacts, and I'm going to show you how I put these on. First of all, I rinse them off because you should always rinse your contacts off. Um, I use a very different technique than most people. Well, maybe not very different, kind of different. Um, so I'm completely blind without being able to see. So I rinse off my lens and then I balance it on one of my fingers. I put a couple of drops of fluid in and I leave it there. This is why also it's pretty good to do this before you have makeup on. So this is my right side. So what I do is I should probably have a mirror so I can actually see what I'm doing. So what I do is I pull my lid down, open your eyes as wide as you can, let the liquid suction the contact onto your eye, and then lift your lid over and around it and then close your eye and you're done. So it takes a couple of taps to get all the water out. But basically, the liquid that you have on your contact will help suction it to your eyeball and you just lift your lid over it because when you blink, that's when it rolls and it falls out. So I'll do the other side without explaining and you can watch what I've just done. So again, rinse it. Leave water on the inside of it. Let me try to get closer. And that's it. So very, very easy. Very easy. And um, my contacts are kind of wonky. They're old, so they kind of flip around. Not very good condition anymore, which is why I don't really wear them anymore. And then to remove them, you just pinch and pull. Not really a big deal. I'm going to have to put these back on, though, for a makeup video because you guys are going to need my eyes clear to be able to see. And I'm going to need to be able to see as well. Second pair are these scleras. Scleras are much bigger than um, a normal contact is, as you guys well know. Uh, before getting these, I had no idea that um, they were shaped like this. For some reason, I thought that they were more oval shaped, and they've actually got a really big pupil hole to them that I also never knew because most people, when they're in a the dark room, they don't see. But you can see there, they're just like a really big contact. A lot of people have trouble putting these on because of the sheer size, and they are so much thicker than normal contacts. So you make sure you get every single bit of hair or whatever off of these contacts. These are a little bit more difficult to put in. Sometimes it takes me a couple of times, but um, I don't fold them up like most other people do. What I do is I cup it in my fingers like this, and then uh, I place it against my eyeball and then push up. And then I do the whole lifting my lid to make sure I've got it in. So it's like that. Now, a lot of people, they um, they fold it and then they, they then stick it under their eyelid. I obviously do not have sensitive eyes and so I'm able to put the contacts in pretty easily without blinking as you can see I don't flutter my eyes and blink 
it is very, very important to try your best not to flutter your eyes because that is when the contact will curl up and it'll fall out and it could possibly get contaminated if it falls on the floor or whatnot. So again, I just cup it like this in my fingers, place it on my eyeball, and then just push up under my eyelid. And then I lift my lid, that's my, my big trick, lift the lid and use it to cover to suction the contact in. Mm, that's it. And uh, so to take these ones out, what you do is you, again, pinch and grab. So you pinch it and you pull, and then they come out. Very, very easy. Uh, I am extremely fortunate because of the fact that my eyes are not sensitive, and that's what helps me put contacts in. A lot of people see something going towards their eye and they get really scared and they're like, Ugh. and that's where you'll make it really difficult on yourself. The more calm and comfortable and relaxed you are, the easier it will be on you. Um, I'm not sure what other tips I can give. Hopefully this was just quick, easy, and straightforward. Uh, I can't focus on anything without glasses or contacts on. I get kind of cross-eyed because my eyes are so bad, but... Um, I'm going to flip over to the next video now, stick those contacts back in so I can see what I'm doing, and hope that this was informative and helpful for you guys. If not, sorry. If it was, awesome, and I will see you guys next video.